What's the difference in performance between the current Audi RS6, the C8, its father, the C7, its grandfather, the C6, and its great-grandfather, the C5? Well, we are going to have an RS6 Generations drag race to find out. And to help me with this video, we've got my old mate, Yanni, from Yanni Mais. All right, Yanni, how are you doing? Hi, Matt. I'm really good, mate. Really good. So you're sat in the previous generation RS6. I've got the new one. Do you think I've picked the superior car here? Uh, like always. It might not be as clear cut as you think. I'm going to go through all the stats. So have a listen in. That's if you're not too busy just going on your phone. You're probably just going to go on your phone, aren't you, while I do this bit? Hashtag true story. Anyway, while he does all that he needs to do on Instagram or Twitter and all that stuff, I'll give you the stats of these cars. <sighs> too many layers on. <laughs> I can't even breathe. This C8 version of the Audi RS6 has a four litre twin turbo V8. It has 600 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. All wheel drive, eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox with launch control. It's quite heavy this car, 2,075 kilos. Ooh, it's quite a lot in it. Now that C7 version of the RS6, it also has a four litre twin turbo V8, but because it's the performance version, it has 605 horsepower. Bit less torque than this though. It's got 750 newton meters. Eight speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive. Doesn't have launch control though. Just have to hold it on the brake and release the brake and go. Shouldn't make much of a difference. Interestingly though, that car is a bit lighter than this one. So it's got five more horsepower and it weighs 1,950 kilos. So it has a superior power to weight ratio, unless Jan has just gone and negated that now. Sorry, Ann. Is he still yapping on? You can't hear that, it's fine. Now, moving on to the C6 version of the RS6. So that has a five litre twin turbo V10, a Lamborghini derived V10. Oh yeah. And it's got 579 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. And interestingly, it's slightly heavier than the C7. So it weighs in at 2,025 kilos. It has a six speed automatic gearbox, no launch control, but of course, quattro all wheel drive. Finally then we come to the great grandfather of the RS6 range, the C5. Now that has a 4.2 litre twin turbo V8, but it only puts out 450 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque. It's also got a five speed automatic gearbox, no launch control again, but quattro all wheel drive. It is the lightest car here though, 1,865 kilos. As for the prices, well, the C8 version of the RS6 starts from 95,000 pounds. That C7 performance, that was 86,000 pounds. The C6 was 80,000 pounds. And the old C5, back in the day, 60,000 pounds. Bit of a bargain, really. It's gonna be interesting to see how all of this plays out in this video. But before we get into it, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't done so already, hit that bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single one of these uploads. Okay, before we get into it, let's do a sound check. See how the sound of these cars has changed over the years. So I'm in full sports mode. I'm gonna rev mine up. God, I hate soft limiters. They just ruin the fun of revving your car's engine. I've got a V8, I wanna hear it. No, not allowed to, modern regulations. Go on, Jan, let's- Just rev up the old C7 RS6, see if it sounds better than this one. Ooh. I don't mind that, a bit of pop and bang here. Eh? It's way better than this one. This one, listen, listen to mine. If it comes to the sound test, you've won the sound test already, haven't you? One nil. Let's have a listen to the C6. I'm going to have to put my window down. Has that got a soft limiter as well? It doesn't sound as raucous as I thought it would. It's a V10. Yeah, it's not revving beyond 4,000. Odd. OK, let's have a listen to the C5. I can hear that. Sounds like a Citroen C5. It's gonna have to be up to you guys to decide. I think it's the C7 that sounds the best, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Should we get on with this? Let's get on with this. Let's put my window up there. Good to go. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. All right, let's get on with this. Before we do though, 
let's warm up these tyres. No, I know they're a bunch of Audi, so I've got the stability control off and I'm going to try and do a donut or slide it. This could end in a lot of understeer. Let's find out. This is surprisingly better than I ever imagined. <laughs> Can I do it back the other way? Mate, that looks incredible. I'm going to see what Jan is going to do <laughs> in some poor viewer's car. <laughs> Are we donutting or do you just want skids? Do skids, it looks better than like donutting. Anyone can do a donut. I don't understand off the runway. Someone owns that car, stop Jan, stop, stop. There's a lot of power in this car, my God. Not enough to slide properly though. Shall we have the C6? This one's even worse. <laughs> it's like he's just driving around in a circle. Nice work. Okay, let's have the C5. Oh no. More lock will not help you out. I like the way you tried to give it a little sandy flick into it. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, that's really good. Well done. Stop it now, though. Stop it now. We're going to get into trouble. All right. Tires are warm, let's race. Three, two, one. Oh, oh God, I lost traction a bit. No way! Come on! This is close. Oh my God, I beat him! He's going and he's pulling. <laughs> Just seen congratulating himself in there. Come on, you old dog. Yes. Don't mess with this. I didn't think I had a chance, I'm not gonna lie. My car just struggled for traction off the line and it wasn't as fast as it normally is. I know I'm making an excuse and you weren't, and once you're ahead, you're still pulling, but I think probably both cars could do better. I'm actually in shock. This flew, and when I pulled from you, I was like, hello, and I thought he's gonna come back, and you were nowhere to be seen. There were some other RS6s in the race as well. C6, what was it like from your perspective? Sounded good, but it was a nice, warm, comfy chair to watch you two have a race from, to be honest. But you beat the C5, right? Beat the C5, yeah. Well, not as much as I thought, though. OK, we're going to do another race now. I've actually moved slightly right because where I launched before has a bit of a greasy patch, which I think affected the traction. So I've moved a bit closer, Yanni. My lane's a bit drier now. Any excuse, any reason to try and justify why you lost. Mate, you can go there, here, anywhere, and you'll still lose again. Mark my words. Actually, it's still a bit greasy though. I'm going to just back up a bit and try and get it like really on a dry bit. That way, I, I do have no excuses. Why don't you just come right next to me, mate? Or, or I'm happy to swap with you as well. Whatever you want. Whatever, whatever you want. I may make you swap in a bit. <laughs> no, no, let's do it. Let's try it. Come on, let's try it. Now you're on. Come on. Oh, he's got away better this time. Oh, no. Oh, I've killed them two. <laughs> Smug. I guess we're going to do the decider. It's all about the track. Clean track, had ya. That makes it 1-1, in my opinion. Damn, you're right. Let's go again. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's happened again. <laughs> Listen, I'll take the one win. I won that, Jan. I won that. I'm just going to just, wait, just come round. Nice. Nice. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs>
Who does he think he is? The one from The Simpsons? What's his name? <laughs> um, what's his name, Dan? <laughs> Ralph. No, Ralph, that's Chief Wiggum's one. <laughs> the bully. What's his name, the bully? <laughs> Nelson. Nelson. Ha <laughs> ha! So then, what exactly happened? Well, when the C8 RS6 launched on a dry section of track, it came first. Twice. It did the stunning quarter mile in 11.4 seconds. Meanwhile, the C7 took 11.8 seconds, the C6 took 12.5 seconds, and the C5 took 13.2 seconds to do the quarter mile. And I guess that's what you call progress. All right, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in automatic mode for their gearbox and comfort setting. I'm going to call in. Where are you going? Oh, we've got to get to 50. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. <laughs> My fault. Get level, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. God, this gearbox takes forever to kick down and Yanni's is just gone. <laughs> come on, baby. Can I come back? No, he got the lead on me. No one's catching me. I'm not sure if I've got a limiter or if he's got one. That C6 isn't too far behind. There was a bit more runway left there, mate. We could have kept on going. I thought I was going to come past you. No chance, mate. I was so far ahead. Well, I think yours might have a limiter. Mine doesn't, so I was going to come past you just because of that, which probably wouldn't be fair. That gearbox kicked down in that C7 quicker than this one. It did. It's fast, mate. It's f for old technology in an old car, it's actually really, really good. You can imagine what this was like when it was actually out. I like the way that you're calling it an old car. I mean, it's, what is it, 2015? It's not that old. I mean, I've got cars that are like 1998. That's ancient, isn't it? That's like vintage to you. That's pre-war to you, isn't it, Jan? <laughs> yeah, AD. To be fair, it's only five years old. Okay, still oldish. Old technology. An old car to you is one that you've had for like, what, six months? <laughs> that's right, isn't it? <laughs> Six months? Wow, that's like fourth hand, mate. Three months at the most. Well, at least you keep the finance companies in business. Okay, now we're going to do a rolling race again. This time, full sports mode, locked in third gear. This is all about engine response. Here we go. I'm going to call it in. Hold on, Yanni. I'm 50. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Oh, I like the heads-up display flashing, telling me when to change up so I don't fluff a gear change. Don't think Yanni's got that. And now, this bad boy is hauling ass. Where is Yanni? Why has he moved across? Is he... Oh, it's me, I've drifted across. <laughs> Look forward, Matthew. I'm a GoPro who's gone crazy. I'm doing 170. Right, I'm coming out of this. Yeah, I've got a limit of 166. This car, I think, because it's the top of the rain, four sprung, has the D restriction on it, so it was keeping on pulling past 170. What happened then? The old C5 got left for dead, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Topped out about 155. Didn't have a hope of holding on to you guys. Was the C6 quite close to us? Yeah, I mean, it's 571 horsepower, so it's not far behind, but eventually you were just pulling away. And I think I won that one, didn't I then, Jan? Eh? Well, I've got something to say to you again, by the way. I've just got to tell you something. <laughs> Now you're all right. <laughs> He's such a He's like a sport brat. When he wins, such a child. Right, brake test then, yeah? This is really good formation driving, this is. Oh, I'll put this down. Don't lose the brake test, Matt. Left foot brake, time it well. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take that. You've never been so pleased about winning a brake test before. We were so level, actually, when we were slowing. Then yours just this at the very last moment. Just stopped dead. It was like you hit a wall. I'm really impressed with this car. You know what? Initially, I was a bit critical, but she's a good girl. Well done. Yeah, it's because you just like all the new stuff. That's why. Very close between these two. But there's a massive change, isn't there, in terms of performance and braking, I think, from that C6 to the C7. The difference between these two is not so great. I think if you've got that C7, get one for a decent price, that's one hell of a performance car, really, for what you can get them used. 
agreed however your one looks incredible the way they've changed it the lines and it looks great yeah this really is a great looking car i absolutely adore it now there are some offers available on this audi rs6 amazing ones through car wow so if you click on the pop-out banner up there you can go check out what those deals are you'd be surprised how much you can save one of these actually anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video thanks for watching if you'd like to watch some more car wide drag race videos, I've put little video windows there. You can click on those, go watch those videos. Now, if you'd like to know how these cars all fare in the car wow drag race leaderboard, if you click on that box there, you can go to our website and we've listed the times of all the cars that we've drag raced so you can see how they all measure up. Alternatively, I'll put two video windows there with various other drag races you can watch. Get to the